Let me pick up where we left off on the last episode. We're gonna do the plumbing right here, just a drain pipe. It's gonna come out here, and we're gonna dig a ditch right here, and we're gonna do all that pipe, just like a leach field, so that there's not gonna be much water, obviously, just whenever they wash their hands and such. So we could have easily just stuffed the pipe out and just let the water fall outside. However, uh, we don't think that's a very good way to go about it because having an open pipe, that just leads for things to come in and, you know, ants or crickets or spiders or you name it they could just go in through there so instead we're going to do a much cleaner installation and that's what we're going to do today uh we do not need a septic tank because they're not going to have a bathroom that's the bathroom so no need for that darren's going to help me or actually darren's going to do it <laughs> and i'm going to watch him <laughs> but i'll help wherever i can darren how about that this is Darren Peters, Howdy. Texas Barnuminiums project manager, driver, plumber. You name it. You name it. Yeah. Trim guy. Yep. So, whatever we need, that's what we are. Just like earlier, I was doing uh, dirt work. Next episode, I'm probably gonna be doing rebar. And then we're gonna pour, Darren. Right? You're gonna help pour. Do rebar though. Huh? I want to see him do the rebar. Yeah, I've done plenty of rebar in my day. I don't, that's one thing I do not miss. Anyway, let's uh, get this thing going. We got the pipe right here. So why don't we do this, Darren? While you get this drain going in here, I'm going to get an excavator and I'll excavate this ditch. I'm going to land. So I got the ditch dug. You guys can see right here. It's about you did it by hand too. 22 feet. No, I didn't do it by hand. I did it with an excavator right there. So this pipe right here is what's going to go in that ditch. Don't worry. It's perforated. See that? Water from the sink. It's going to go down in that pipe. It's going to come out here. And then this is where we're going to hook up the uh, four inch pipe. We're going to put some gravel on the bottom. And then we're going to put that cloth right there. What is that called, Darren? It's called a fiber cloth. Yep, fiber cloth. Landscaping fiber cloth. Keeps so, the dirt from filtering into the rocks. All that's going to do is we're going to keep put that on top of the pipe and the rock to keep the dirt away from it. So, if you can imagine what's going on here. The water's going to go in the pipe, then it's going to go down in those rocks. And then once it gets down in the ditch, the Mother Earth is just going to soak it up. Uh, like I said, they're not going to use this much, Happy little trees. so we just put in water back in the ground. No way for bugs or spiders or anything to get in the, in the barn though, right there. That's right. So Darren's going to open the tailgates here. And uh, <laughs> there goes Darren. Can't fall in the ditch. All right, so we're going to put that stuff in the ditch. Always latch the gates before you lift. Otherwise, the gates will come around, and when you lift, you'll bend them. All right. So we're going to put about a foot of this limestone in there. Hey, I don't have a whole lot of memory left on this thing. Can you work faster, please? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, so we got the gravel in the ditch. And uh, I went ahead and put the uh, laser receiver right on the shovel and then I can check because we want this gravel to be level. Typically you want drain pipes to have slope, however in this situation we want it to be level. What that's going to do is when the water goes in this pipe it's going to spread throughout the entire pipe all at once and it's going to drain evenly into the ground. Alright. Alright. All right, so it's pretty level. All right, so before we drop the pipe in the ground, Darren's gonna cap the end. Again, once the water goes in there, we want it to 
stay in the entire pipe and drain down evenly. So always put primer on both sides. Right there? Yes, sir. I'm going to apply the glue to the pipe, glue to the cap, push it on, and twist. Hold it. Hold it. Now we drop it in the ditch. What happens after we put it in the ditch, there? Go home. <laughs> no, we don't get to go home. No. no, so we put it in the ditch and then we put more gravel on top of the pipe, correct? To cover it up and then do the mesh floor. So, gravel, so first <laughs> ditch, then gravel, then pipe, the then more out. gravel, then uh, cloth, and then finally dirt. So when we're done, it's gonna look like nothing ever happened out here, right Darren? That's correct. That's the plan? Yes sir. All right. All right, so you guys can see we have the pipe in the in the ditch. It's got gravel underneath, and uh, we got it plumbed from here with a two inch all the way in there. As you can see, that's where the pipe comes up. That's going to be the drain for the sink. If you notice, we have that pipe on the outside of the ditch. You don't want it to come up through the middle of the ditch. The beam is in the middle. I'll show you whenever we're doing rebar, but anyway, so we tucked the pipe all the way to the edge and this ditch is dug extra deep so that the stirrups are above the pipe. So what I'm saying is the pipe is going to be outside the stirrups. All right, now we get to uh, cover it up with uh, the limestone. How, how much are we going to do, Darren? About four inches on top of it, or? Just two, three inches, yeah. Four yeah, inches. so we're just gonna get about three or four inches on top of it, and then we're gonna do the cloth, and then we're gonna put dirt back on top of it. Darren's gonna drop off the dumpster right there because we need it. We're trying to keep it out of the way as much as possible. Can you back it up some more? A little more. That's good. There it is. Who are these guys anyway? All right, so we got her done. Did you guys see the pads done? You guys already knew that, but this is where we stuck that drain. Uh, obviously, this is a much better way to go about it rather than just sticking a pipe out the wall and just letting the water fall right there. So we thought it'd be a better way, and uh, I think we're right. We uh, covered it up and left a small mound right over the ditch because first rain we get, it's gonna settle. So. We may even need more dirt. Next step is rebar. And after that, we get to pour concrete. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this. Give us a bunch of likes, because Matt wasn't here today, so <laughs> make him envious. All right, we'll see you guys next time. We are Texas Barnuminiums.